everybody, this is Jennifer. Welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'm talking about my 2019 nautical themed TBR. Um, there's six books, uh, two rereads, and then four new to me books. Uh, the one I'm currently reading right now on this is the Kentucky Expedition by Thor Heyerdahl. Um, they take big, like, I hmm, balsa wood. Yeah, they, they take balsa wood and they tie a whole bunch of like logs together and they make a raft and they attempt to go from Peru to the Poly to Polynesia on this raft to prove that it was possible and that South Americans ended up in Polynesia. So yeah, this is really good so far. Um, Thor Heyerdahl is an excellent writer um, and this is, just sounds really interesting so I'm eager to keep going in there. I'm only like, I don't know, I'm less than 30 pages in so far, but I'm really liking it. Um, I don't know which of these next ones I'm going to read first, but they're all going to get done at some point. <laughs> um, let me go ahead and talk about the other two that I actually have physical copies of. This next one here is Mutiny on the Bounty uh, by... Charles Nar Nordhoff and James Norman Hall. Um, it's about the HMS Bounty and its two-year trip and the mutiny that was started by Fletcher Christian against the Captain Bly. And so, yeah, this is a pretty much a well-known story. It's got a movie. It, well, I think it has at least one, if not more, movies made about it. Um, I don't know that this is a very well balanced book. Um, it's pretty um, pro Fletcher Christian and anti Bly, and so there's some like I don't know, there's some iffy elements about it. But it's a classic, and it should be well written, if not exactly 100% fair and balanced. <laughs> All right, that is the second book that's on my TBR. Now this big old guy right here is probably going to be put off until nonfiction November. It is Lincoln Payne, The Sea and Civilization, A Maritime History of the World. Um, I've actually just gone through this and it stops around, well it has like, it goes up in detail until like the 50s and then it's like maritime law after the 50s. So it's probably not, you know, it's not the be all and end all, but it looks like it's a pretty good starting point if we're talking about history from this, you know, vantage point using this C. Um, yeah. So up until the 50s, it looks like it's pretty detailed. So we're just going to read it probably for nonfiction November and see where we go from here as far as like actual like history is concerned. Um, I might add a few pirate books onto this at some point, but right now these six are comprised of the whole thing and I'm not going to add new ones until I get to these six. Okay, so those are the first three. Those are the ones I have physical copies of. Uh, next up is one of my childhood favorites that I haven't read for like 25 years. Um, and it's The True Confessions of Charlotte Doyle by Avi. Now, what happens here is that Charlotte Doyle is a 13-year-old girl. Her family had to go overseas, but her father did not want her to, like, get cut off in the middle of the school year. So he makes arrangements for her to get a berth on the ship to take her back to her family after the school year is over while she gets caught up or maybe starts. I don't know. I don't remember. Like I said, I haven't read it in 25 years, but she gets caught in a mutiny on this ship. And I loved this book so much when I was a kid. I think it was my favorite standalone. Like I had like, I was big in the Babysitter's Club. And occasionally Judy Bloom would have like standalones. But this one, The True Confessions of Charlotte Doyle, was my absolute favorite as far as books when I was a young girl before I started reading adult books. Okay, so next up on my TBR is Endurance, Shackleton's Incredible Journey by Alfred Lansing. And this details 
what happened during Ernest Shackleton's 1914 expedition to go to the South Pole. Well, short, <laughs> um, the, the boat gets stuck in a big sheet of ice and it can't move. So they're essentially stuck in this really cold place. So they have to send people off to go get help. And then some people have to stick around. And this, this book tells the story of what happens to those people. It sounds really harrowing and it sounds very interesting. And when it came on sale at the Kindle store, I was like, I have to get it. So now I have it and I'm going to read it. And that's Endurance Shackleton's Incredible Journey by Alfred Lansing. Okay, so last up on my list is another reread. Um, it was my favorite book two years ago, and it's The Sea Wolf by Jack London. Um, it's, it's, it was written in 1904, and it's about Humphrey Van Wyden, who gets caught up in a ferry accident and gets stranded in the middle of the sea or whatever, the Pacific, and ends up getting picked up by the ghost, a sealing schooner that is captained by Wolf Larsen, who's incredibly mean, who's incredibly intelligent, and decides to make a man out of Humphrey. And yeah. I remember reading it two years ago and it was my favorite. So I'm really interested to see if it's still one of my favorites and if it holds up as well as I thought. I mean, I never thought it was a perf I never thought it was a perfect book, but I really enjoyed it. So now I'm interested to give it another look and see if it, you know, if it's still one of my favorites after this reread. All right, you guys. That was my 2019 nautical themed TBR. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you've read any of the books I mentioned, please put your comments in below <laughs> what you thought of them. Um, if you have any suggestions for nautical themed books I might like, please, by all means, put them in the comment section. Um, always feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for stopping by. Bye.